the best welterweight in the world. Take it what from who? Go back and hit his head on the stool. In the entertainment business, if we want to keep it real, there are often personalities that, as viewers, we tend to connect with more than others. And I don't see anything wrong with it. But as a byproduct of that love and admiration for certain figures, a lot of others sometimes fly under the radar and never receive the same recognition. When I got up in the octagon and put the belt on him tonight, he turned around, looked at me and said, you don't believe in me. Whether their stories weren't told the right way or to the audience appropriately, or maybe along the way, a bigger personality went and took the spotlight away. Today, we take a closer look at some of the best UFC fighter who it's time we put some respect on their names. Number one, Alexander Volkanovsky. Alexander Volkanovsky has been very slowly tearing up the featherweight division and established himself as the true king of that division. And I've always loved martial arts. I always love it and I love the fact that, you know, yeah, you're in there by yourself. One of the most underrated runs in the UFC at the moment, dismantling Chad Mendes by TKO in the second round with pure pressure, cruising through a unanimous decision win over who's considered by many as the greatest featherweight of all time, Jose Aldo, winning two close decision over another featherweight legend, Max Holloway, and overcoming tremendous scary moment to dominate yet another featherweight contender, Brian Ortega. No! Got here. Got here. No! Fight, fight, Volko, fight, please. Fight, fight Volko, chin down, chin down. Come on, Volk! Come on! Yes! Yes! Alex Volkanovsky now on a 20 fight win streak has not took a step back and showed tremendous heart and grit in his last fight, winning the heart of a few hardcore fans. But the respect up to that point had been close to none for the featherweight king. Going through the two extremely razor close battle with Max Holloway, who is absolutely loved and admired by many in the MMA community, unfortunately created a bit of hatred towards Alex, which followed him up to that Who point. do you think won? Volkanovski or Holloway? These guys have fought twice now, 10 rounds, a total of six judges, and five of them say Volkanovski won. Oh, did anybody in here score for Volkanovski? Nobody in the media? No. I saw something different. I think Max Holloway won the fight. <laughs> because he definitely won that I agree with that one judge. I think that one judge is the only one that got no, it right. I, th I thought it was pretty clear that he won. I thought he won the fight. As we get to see his story and his personality come out more and more, you start to realize that this guy is a true fighter's fighter, as real as it gets, willing to go through any challenges, as big as they seem, and as many times as he needs to do it. And his pure love for this sport, even though sometimes it might not love him back the same way. I'm not like that. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just real. I'm gonna say what say what's on my mind, you know. But again, put a camera in front of me. People get to know me. They're gonna love me. Number two, Jan Blahovic. When you face off against one of the biggest superstars in the sport in Israel Adesanya, the attention and spotlight for yourself might be a little dimmer. In the case of Jan Blahovic, a personality who is a lot more reserved, not hungry for fame and notoriety, a simple man in love with the fight game and got them good at it. It's sometimes more out of the ordinary for fans to leash on these types of personality, simply because they are not out there like others might be. A guy like Jan, a classy champion, um, a cool dude, a very nice guy, a guy who has a great story in himself, you know, uh, on his way of getting cut from the company, comes back and then becomes a light heavyweight champion and then hands this guy, a future legend, his first loss. Yeah, if I was going to lose to anyone, I'm glad I lost to him. In most cases, fighters are able to create their star power through each other as much as they would like to deny it. Fighters make each other bigger and stars create stars. For Jan to win the vacant UFC light heavyweight championship after Jones decided to leave the division earlier in 2020, Unable to attach his name to the global superstar that Jones was, it was an even harder path to stardom for Jan Blahovic. Can you describe what is going through your head right now? Well, I don't know. Only one is in my mind. John Jones, where are you? Don't be a quitter. I'm here. This is how we do it in Poland. I'm waiting for you. With all of that being said, Jan needs to take his place and walk like the champion that he is, not letting other fighters take his shine or diminish his success. It's time that we recognize his capabilities inside of that octagon, his freakish power. And his power is ridiculous. In an all-around complete mixed martial art game that can compete at the top of the pound for pound list. The winner and still light heavyweight champion of the world. Thank you. Jan now Blahovic. I think I deserve for respect. I'm the true champion right now. You were the true champion before this. You're the true champion now. Congratulations, Thank sir. Thank you. You don't become a champion out of luck. 
No matter the popularity, this guy is not one to play around with, and he shall receive the respect he deserves. Number 3. Kamaru Usman Have y'all heard the term Kamaru Snoozman? Uh, you know, Snoozman beat, you know, Tycor Woodley. You know, it was a boring fight. You know, he put 30% of the fans to sleep, you know. That's exactly what the welterweight division thought of Kamaru after his come up in the UFC. After beating Tyron Woodley for the undisputed welterweight championship, Kamaru is regarded by many as a boring champion and not a very exciting fighter to watch. Kamaru Usman has stepped in there with some of the biggest personalities the sports have ever seen and up to very recently was still very disrespected as a champion. Going through Colby Covington at UFC 245 was a statement for Kamaru's career, but many perceived it as a lucky performance and a closer fight than anticipated. I have never seen a fight stopped in that position. At UFC 251, after Jorge Masvidal stepped up on six days notice to fight Kamaru, the attention, spotlight, and the headlines were all understandably on Masvidal. With that being said, Kamaru Usman still cruised through another dominant unanimous decision victory. The fans weren't too happy with that performance, claiming that Kamaru was one of the most boring fighters on the roster. Memes were starting to emerge of Kamaru foot stomping techniques and Masvidal using it as fuel to rekindle the idea of a rematch. I don't need nobody, I'll whoop your ass off by myself. You said that last time, what happened? Yeah. You know what happened? You rubbed feet with me. I thought you what happened? Fight. You said that last time. You rubbed your feet on mine pretty well. You're In the pretty meantime, Kamaru feet. stayed busy and fought yet another top contender, Gilbert Burns, and was able to put on an amazing performance, coming back from adversity, knocking Burns out in round number three, getting up close in the camera and screaming. It took another one with Masvidal at UFC 261, an outstanding performance putting the BMF to sleep in round two in an unexpected ending. Even then, it took John Jones to beat up his wife to finally put Kamaru at the top of the pound for pound list. Too far? Whatever. I think as of now, it's only to make certain and official that as a community, there is no more of the Kamaru disrespect. He has gained the respect of thousands of UFC fans around the globe and earned every step of the way to the top. I know with my fundamentals, I am the pound for pound best fighter on the planet right now. If there is a lesson to learn from this video, it's that persistence is key. Put in the time, the effort, and the energy into something you truly love to do, and ain't nobody can dictate your terms. You cannot control what the headlines will be, what the rumors are, or what your reputation is, but you can control how you carry your name with dignity. Let me know who else is one of the most disrespected fighter in the UFC. I appreciate you spending a couple of minutes with me today, and I hope to have you back. Peace out.